Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to add inline styles in React. You may have noticed in the last challenge that there were several other syntax differences from HTML inline styles in addition to the style L attribute set to JavaScript object. First, the name of certain CSS style properties use camel case. For example, the last challenge that we challenge set the size of the font with font size instead of uh, camel or font dash size. Hyphenated words like font dash size are invalid syntax for JavaScript object basic objects. So React uses camel case. As a rule, try hyphenated style properties. As a rule, any hyphenated style properties are written using camel case in JSX. All property value lengths like units, height, width, and font size are assumed to be in pixels unless otherwise specified. If you want to use em uh, for example you want you you wrap the value and the unit in quotes like font size and then in quotes e for em other than the length of the values that default to pixel all other property values should be wrapped in quotes so length you can use regular uh, integers if you have a large set of styles you can assign a style object to a constant to keep your code organized uncomment the styles constant and declare an object with three style properties and their values. Give the div a color of purple, a font size of 40, and a border of two pixels solid purple. Then set the style attribute equal to the styles constant. Okay, so interesting. It's constant styles. We're going to uncomment styles and then in here we're going to pass in an object. And within the object um, yeah, there are three style properties. Give the div a color of purple. And because this is a JavaScript object, we need to pass it in like this. A purple. Uh, a font size. Notice I'm using camel case here, not font dash size of 40. We, because uh, it defaults to pixels, we can just do 40. And a border so this is just going to look awesome. Of and then here we're going to have to pass in a string, a string of two pixels, solid purple. And then set the style attribute equal to the styles constant. Constant styles. Here's our constant of styles. So styles. If you put this in the code, it's going to render this object. So in here they currently have yellow and font size. We want to change this and make it so that we just have our styles here. And then, of course, I like to keep my code clean, so I'm going to do it like this. And so now we've got this uh, purple nonsense. Great. Uh, so yeah, the idea behind this is that you can set constants outside of your code and make it so it looks much cleaner. Uh, and then if you had, say you needed to use this in multiple different parts of your application and you wanted to per perhaps make the font size like 42 instead, you could just change it here rather than changing it all the different places where you th were throwing in an object here. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.